All right, hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is a K-pop profile episode, I believe, eight or nine. I want to say eight, maybe nine. But anyway, um, this is K-pop profile. Um, this is a video series where I do a uh, a profile of K-pop K-pop idol singers from past and present, from the debut to current. Um, so check this one out and all my other ones on my playlist. Just click on the playlist button and all my playlists. I have four playlists, but they're not on the main page. You have to click on the tab playlist, which is on your should be on your left, and um, you'll find all four of my playlists. And then the series is named after this um, video, which is K-pop profile, and you can catch up and look at all the other star profiles I've done so far. So uh, this is one I had to do. Um, I figured I did one on Rain of. Uh, about a month about a month ago I did one on Rain. So I thought I'd do one on his eternal rival. Uh, and for the older K pop fans who may know, you guys know what I'm talking about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a K pop profile on uh seven, uh, one of my favorite solo male artists of all time in K pop. Um not just all in K pop but just in general, just as as a singer, you know, like Usher and Justin Timberlake and Michael Jackson. Seven's up there too. So, um, Seven is from YG Entertainment, same company as 21, the Big Bang. Um, Seven came out, I believe, in 2003, was when he came out. He came out with his very first album, uh, Must Listen. Um, three singles he got up there were Come to Me, no, Come Back to Me, I Like You Like That, and One More Time. But Come Back to Me, um, was the first song that he released off that album. Um, when I heard it, I'm like, oh, you know, it's okay, it's cool. You know, we have another new singer, solo artist besides Ryan. So I'm like, okay, I'll give him a chance. He's cool, he can sing. Then we came out with One More Time off the same album. I'm like, okay, yeah, now I'm a fan of Seven. Um, One More Time, I really like, that's my favorite song, um, off, off, off that album. Um, and I like you like that. That's good too. But one more time, I like it. Kind of reminded me of like Usher's uh, "You Remind Me." Not music wise, they don't sound anything alike. But like the vi music video, kind of reminded me of a little bit like that. Um, a, a little bit some of the scenes and settings. So um, <clears throat> this album, I think it. I think it did well. I'm not sure if I remember. I think it took a while for it to become a success. Like by the end of the year, that's when it became successful. But when he first came out with it, I think I think he got mixed reviews, maybe. But he did win rookie awards. I definitely remember that. He did win uh, rookie awards um, for this album, and then that's when he got the uh, the the title, the Eternal Rival, the Eternal and Only Rival to Rain. Uh, fast forward to 2004, he came out with his second album, Must Listen. His first album was called Just Listen. His second, Must listen um and his first single off that that's when i became a really big fan of seven he came up with the song passion that song is still kicking that song is still my favorite song of seven of all time um that song was just awesome and, and i think that was the first well no he had it one more time too but i think side note seven i think is the first uh k-pop artist to have foreign background dancers into his music videos. He has them one more time. He has it here in Passion. Um, Passion is a strong, hip R&B song. I love the style um, that Seven had back then. The song was catchy, it was hot. That was when I, as a fan of his, be like, okay, maybe this guy can compete with the one and only Rain. Um, other songs he has there were Crazy, which I thought, that was okay. Not as good as Passion, but it was still a, 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 a good song. Um, and then you had uh, Tattoo. Tattoo was a nice, slow ballad song, which I thought showed the vocals of Seven uh, better than some of his other songs, which were or singles, which were like upbeat and catchy. Um, this album, I think, did really well. I think this album did better than its first. Um, so this album did really well. I think it sold like maybe over 30,000 copies or something like that. Um, 
maybe like 40, but this was a very successful album as well. Then you get down to 2006, Seven came out with his third album, uh, 24-7, which, you know, was pretty um, clever on YG's part for coming out with a catchy name like that. Um, from 24-7, you had the songs Come Back to Me Part 2, um, which was a continuation from his first single from his first album two years prior, um, or four years, three, three years prior. Um, Come Back to Me Part 2, still a slow ballad song, nice. I like the video on that one better than I did the other one. This takes up where he left off in the first one, which I thought was pretty cool, and I thought it was kind of cool with how um, he made like a, a gift basket, I believe, that was made out of, uh, that was shaped in shape form of a heart. And then they had like perfume, and I definitely remember he like carved out like a, a toy doll or something that looked like his ex-girlfriend. So I thought that was cool. Um, or pretty creative, I guess, you know, if you want to get your girl, your old girlfriend back, that's a pretty creative way how he did that. But, um, <laughs> that was nice. But, um, I Know. I Know and All Night. Those were the two hit songs off that album. Um, 24-7 was an album, I think, that showed Seven's maturity a little bit more compared to his first two. I think that's when Seven began to blossom more as a mature um, singer. Um, All Night is a good, fun, like, casino clubbing kind of like song. Um, it's like, when you look at Seven in that video, it's like, boss, like he's the boss, like, bam, he gets swag. Um... I know it's another really good, catchy uh, hip hop song. To me, it, it's kind of similar, to, um, similar to Crazy, but a lot better. Um, and I think Teddy too. Teddy from uh, One Time, he's also featured in there. For anybody that doesn't know, Teddy is from. Uh, he's the main producer of YG Entertainment. And he makes a lot of 21 songs. Um, and then after Seven Days, took a break from that. Um, that same year, actually, he came out with his fourth album, uh, Seven Lucian. Seven Lucian. Um, this album I thought was okay, not as good as his first three. Uh, the, the one song he had on there was popular was La La La, and I don't know what other song he had up there because I really didn't pay too much attention to Seven's third album. This was his fourth album. Um, to me, I think his fourth album it was decent, but it wasn't as good as his first three. And maybe that's because they released his fourth album the same year he released his third. His third album, I think, was released in, like, January or something like that. And then they released his Sevolution in, like, November. So it's like, they, like, really, I felt like it was kind of rushed a little bit. I mean, he had some good songs, but to me it just wasn't as, the, the collective songs weren't as good as some of the other stuff he put out before. Um, but La La La, and I want to say Be Good To You, I think that was probably on there too, Be Good To You. I'm not sure if that was just a regular single release. Um, after that, Seven, well, in between Seven, um, about 2005, 2006, Seven was going back and forth in Japan and promoting in Korea. Um, in Japan, um, he came out with some singles, came out with some albums. I didn't follow him that much in Japan. The only songs I do know that I really liked a lot that he did make in Japan were Hikari and I forgot the other one. But Hikari uh, was a really good song. I like, I like that song. I still listen to that to this day. Um, so yeah, and then Seven took like a really long hiatus break um, after he came out with this album in 2006. Then it was reported that he was going to break through with the U.S. Um, unfortunately, he um, could not really make it to the U.S. due to certain circumstances of, you know, the company that YG tried to partner up with to get Seven out. Um, but he did come out with a English single, Girls, um, which was made by uh, Dark Child, same guy who's written songs for Destiny's Child, Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, and uh, it featured Little Kim. And I thought it was an awesome English song, Girls. I loved it. I thought it was awesome. Um, once again, Seven shows off his perfect vocals. Um, and then after that, but that was back in 2008, and then 7 just took like a real long break again. Comes back to Korea after four years in 2010 with his first mini album, Digital Bounce. 
and his songs on there were better together, which was a nice electric sound, but I kind of wish the seven went, had kind of went more back to his roots, that R&B kind of like sound, but better together was still good. Um, and then I'm Going Crazy, which had his girlfriend, Park pa Hanbyo, uh, which I thought was really uh, cool to see his, aunt, his real life girlfriend of like 10 years um, in that video with him. Uh, I like that song. I like that. That was a really good ballad. Um, but I wish that he would have chosen Digital Bounce with uh, Top of Big Bang, T.O.P. of Big Bang. Um, I wish he would have chose that as his lead single other than Better Together. The album did okay. Um, it did. The, the, the success off Digital Bounce was Meaty Core. I bought it. I still love that album. Um, I, thought it was a good, I thought it was a good job done by Teddy. Um, and then after that, Seven came back with his second mini album earlier this year, back in January, called, well, second mini album. I think they could have been a little bit more creative with the name on that. But um, Seven had the songs, um, When I Can't Sing, which I didn't particularly care for. But then he came out with another song, Somebody Else. He came out with that song before, it, to promote in Japan, before he released the, the Korean version. I like both versions, but I love somebody else. Um, it was written by J.Y. Park, a.k.a. J.Y.P. of J.Y.P. Entertainment. Um, he asked J.Y.P. to let him have that song. J.Y.P. was actually going to use that song for his up-and-coming album. But uh, he gave him to Seven, and I thought Seven did a really good job. I like this song, Somebody Else. It's, a, it's an up-tempo kind of like song. It's not really loud and really energetic, but it's not really slow either. It's it's an up-tempo, catchy song. Um, a song that's very, that's very soothing, but also you could tap your fingers to it a little bit if you want it without, you know, overexerting yourself and listening to it. So, um, and then that's just it for Seven. That's for right now. That's his career's time span. So all in all, I've always liked Seven. Um, there were lots of times, and even still to this day, um, I've liked Seven a little bit better than Rain um, on certain occasions. I'll make a video on uh, on that rain versus seven if you guys are interested if you are interested let me know in the comment box below but uh yeah so this is my k-pop profile on uh seven if you guys ever heard of them if you have do you like them if you've never heard of them um check out the songs that i mentioned in this video um of seven and let me know what you think of them um and let me know if you'd be interested in uh, a seven versus rain uh video my opinions on that um if you are interested in that let me know that and um, peace.